When you get out of your house and look into the sky, what do you see? The sun, the moon and stars in the night. That's right. The place where you are standing, this beautiful world, that's our earth. You know, all these things are part of this great universe. Let's talk about the sun. The sun is a big ball of hot gases. It is the center of our solar system. Sun is also a star. I know it looks so big because we are very close to the sun. The other stars are far away. The sun is the ultimate source of energy. It gives us heat and light. So if there is no sun, you have no life on earth. What is this? This is a coronagraph, not coronavirus, coronagraph. This is the instrument that scientists use to study the sun. How cool to study the sun. The moon is the Earth's natural satellite. What is a satellite? To put it in simple terms, satellite is a smaller object that goes around a bigger object. There are two kinds of satellites natural satellite and artificial satellites. Moon is a natural satellite. The International Space Station, that is the artificial or man-made satellite. The moon appears to change its shape every now and then, but that's not true. It only looks like that because of the change in position of the Earth and the moon. There is no water and no air on the moon, so there is no life the moon. Moon has these small holes, tiny depressions. You know what they are called? They are called craters. Let's look at the stars now. You can see the stars twinkling in the sky in the night time. Twinkle twinkle little star is the poem we all learned as kids. They twinkle all right but they are not little. Let me tell you that. They appear little because they are so far away from the Earth. A group of stars is called a constellation. Sometimes these group of stars come together and form some interesting shapes and patterns. Have a look at some of these interesting shapes. Leo takes the form of a lion. Orion looks like a hunter. Scorpio as the name sounds, it's like the scorpion. How about the great bear? Yeah, it looks like a big bear. These are all different constellations. Sometimes when you look into the sky, you see these bright objects that do not twinkle. They are the planets. The planets don't have light of their own. Just like the moon, they reflect the light from the sun. The eight planets and the sun together form the solar system. The planets move around the sun in a fixed path called orbit. Let's learn about the Earth's movement. The Earth has two kinds of movements. One is called rotation and the other is called revolution. Let's look at rotation. The Earth spins on its own axis from west to east. To complete one rotation, it takes 24 hours. Rotation is what causes day and night. So when one part of the earth receives the sunlight, the other part of the earth is in darkness. It's night time for them. Let's look at revolution now. The earth goes around the sun in a fixed orbit. That movement is called revolution. It takes around 365 days for the earth to complete one revolution. Revolution is what causes seasons. The Earth is divided into two equal halves by an imaginary line called equator that passes right through the middle of the Earth. The upper half is called the Northern Hemisphere and the lower half is called the Southern Hemisphere. Around the months of June, the North Pole is tilted towards the Sun and so the Northern Hemisphere gets more of the sun's direct rays. That is why 
In the months of June, July and August, the Northern Hemisphere has summer. At the same time, the Southern Hemisphere points away from the sun and they have winter. In the months of December, January and February is when the Southern Hemisphere is tilted towards the sun and they have summer during those months. And the Northern Hemisphere faces winter during those three months. The region near the equator gets the same amount of sunlight throughout the year. And that is why those countries have summer most of the year. You can read this chapter R Universe in your textbook. You can find it from page numbers 128 to 134. After you read the lesson, you can answer the questions and do the activities given at the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, our universe. I want to end this lesson by suggesting an activity that you can do. We all know about Kalpana Chavla. You can re research about her, about the work she has done and make some notes in your book. Happy learning. Bye.